Thoughts on the game? Oh man, I think it's going to be a good game. Uh, obviously, I know Clemson is, I think, the powerhouse in the country, not just in the ACC. So I'm sure Coach uh, Bronco is definitely making sure his team is ready to go. And I think UVA is going to look at it as an opportunity to kind of get some more respect for themselves as a program. What makes you say Clemson is the powerhouse in the country? I mean, they have the best players. I think uh, you look at the quarterback, you look at the receivers he has, you look at the defense. I think so many times people harp on the offense because they're the ones putting up the numbers and you know scoring the touchdowns at pretty points. But I think at the end of the day, the defense is what gives that offense the fuel. They give them more opportunities with the ball. They give them shorter fields, so it's easier to score. Um, and I just think the DNA of Coach Venables as their defensive coordinator, I played against them when I was in college, and uh, they weren't necessarily the Clemson they are now, but I know where I know how they operate. And uh, you see it week in and week out, um, tough, mean, and just gap sound, like they're smart. Nobody's trying to be a hero. Guys, are they play complimentary football, and I think that's the best thing that you could say about Clemson. As a quarterback, putting your, putting yourself, your shoes in Bryce Perkins' shoes, yourself in Bryce Perkins' shoes this week, <laughs> what do you think? Clemson would, is going to try to do defensively to kind of contain him. So yeah. Effective. I would assume they're going to probably spy him uh, with one or two guys. I know a guy like Isaiah Simmons, freak athlete, speed, uh, mental, mentally tough. Like he's always in the right spot to make a play. And so I, I wouldn't be shocked if they had him spy Bryce just in case he breaks out of the pocket. Surprisingly, when you watch the Virginia Tech game, they didn't really key in on his running ability, and that's why he was able to get so many yards on the ground. But I think if Clemson says, hey, if we can stop this guy, at least cut his numbers in half on the ground, we have a really good shot to beat them. So uh, if they can hold him under 50 yards rushing, I think they'll have a really good chance. What do you see from Virginia's supporting cast to maybe think that Perkins doesn't necessarily have to do it all? No, nah, and he doesn't. I think at the end of the day, your receivers still have to step up for you. I think you got Terrell Jana, who's who's been huge the past couple weeks. Um, not a name that we talked about a bunch early in the season, but I think the past four or five weeks, he's really shown up. Uh, I think Joe Reed is a guy um, who, who can be special, not just on offense, but also on special teams. Uh, and then the defense. I mean, since Bryce Hall got hurt, I think that collectively they've all stepped up and tried to pick up that void. Uh, they're not perfect and nobody is, uh, but they're gonna have to be perfect tomorrow versus a Clemson team that, you know, really, any receiver, any running back can catch it five yards and take it to the house. So the biggest thing for UVA's defense is make sure you get those guys on the ground. Don't try to go in there trying to arm tackle and things like that. What do they have to do, Virginia, to try to keep it close and stay competitive for four quarters? Create turnovers. I think if they can create turnovers, uh, turnovers early in the game, they'll have a better shot of keeping it close. I think you know Clemson feeds off of that kind of stuff. If they feed off that momentum, they're going to have a ton of fans here. We're not too far from uh, Clemson, South Carolina, so you know that big momentum, if it gets on their side early, it might be a little tough for UVA, uh, but I'm sure their fans are going to pack this thing out too. You know, We're not too far from Charlottesville either, so if they can create turnovers early and limit their own turnovers, I think uh, the game will be a little tighter than in the first half than it should be. Going back to Clemson's defense, an ACC coach said anonymously that they don't have the dudes that they had last year. No premier talent, but they do everything right. Yep. Do you agree with that? Uh, I'm not going to say they don't have premier talent. They do. I think they have guys that will be first, second, third round picks in the NFL draft. Um, you know, they may not have the big names, you know, like those guys that went early in the draft at, on the D-line, but like you said, they're, they're very gap sound. When you watch their defense, you know, there's really no creases to have any type of run game. That's why they, you know, limit teams to, I think, 90 yards, you know, per game on the ground. So um, that's something that I know they'll key in for Bryce. And it's not just Bryce always running. They have Wayne Talapapa who can run too. But at the end of the day, if you look at the stat sheet, Bryce is the guy that's, you know, having usually the most carries in the game. So if they can limit him, they'll be fine. Do you think that Clemson will, will it, 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 you've seen Virginia a lot, maybe try to play a little bit more zone considering they are gap sound to maybe try and frustrate him a little bit? I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think they might play man because they trust that their DBs are good enough to cover their receivers. And when you play man, you make the quarterback make accurate throws. And not to say Bryce can't do it. I've seen him do it. You know, he put his team on his back versus Carolina um, and had some really nice throws. But I know sometimes he might, you know, throw it some air and lob some deep balls out there. And, you know, Clemson guys might try to get a hand on it, you know, with that pressure getting to him in the pocket. So um, if I were the defense, I would go ahead and man up every now and then, especially on third down. Uh, don't play two man because that's when the quarterback could take off and run. But, you know, first, second down, definitely man up and see if, you know, Bryce can make those competitive throws, which I think he can too. Thoughts on Trevor Lawrence? Is he playing better than any quarterback in the country? Right? Without a doubt. You know, Tre Trevor is a, I think, a every 10-year type of talent. Uh, you watch him on tape. He's big. He's strong. He's smart. 
Uh, he's a great teammate. You know, I've seen him pick up his offensive line when they're, you know, slacking a little bit on protections or pointing out protections for his running backs. And, um, you know, I'm doing a segment on him tomorrow, just how he kind of picks up for his teammates. And again, he's not perfect. And I think early in the season, a lot of us were all trying to make him perfect, saying, oh, these interceptions, where's this coming from? But at the end of the day, I mean, quarterback position is hard. You know, it's extremely tough. And I think it, he's going to be a guy for sure is going to be a top five pick whenever he does decide to go into the NFL. Is he playing better than anybody in the country right now, Trevor? I think so. Well any quarterback I think, yeah. I mean, as well as you can play. I mean, above 75% completion percentage, no interceptions, uh, putting his team uh, in opportunities to win the games. And that, at the end of the day, that's how quarterbacks are rated. You know, your win-loss column, your stats are all pretty and all that. But if you win games, you win championships, I think that's how you're, you know, that's how you're evaluated at the end of the day. And that's what he's doing. EJ, this has been a pretty one-sided game for the better part of this whole decade yep. between your alma mater and Clemson have done. It's two teams that have really controlled the ACC championship game. What big of a boost is that for the Tigers and yep. for UVA, who, who knows what they're up against? Yep. Is that a block in their head, do you think? I don't think so. Um, I think you come into this game with a neutral mind. You don't worry about what teams have been here before. You know, this is a big opportunity. You know, when you play at UVA or Clemson, this is what you go to those schools for, an opportunity to play on this stage in an NFL stadium, uh, primetime football, Friday night. Nobody else is playing in the conference beside these two teams. So uh, I think if guys look at it that way, you know, this is where you make a name for yourself and give yourself a chance to play at the next level. Do you think the ACC needs another 10-win team more regularly? It would be awesome to have another 10-win team just for us to talk about uh, on the huddle. But uh, Eric and I were talking about that. If we can get two more teams to just pick it up, I think the ACC as a whole would get a lot more respect, you know, nationally. And, you know, a lot of people wouldn't be as hard on our top dog, with, which is Clemson right now. You know, I think that's where a lot of that disrespect kind of comes from. Um, some of the other teams, you know, like UVA might have a great couple weeks and then they lose to somebody. And then Miami has a couple weeks and they lose. Pitt, same thing. So uh, Florida State, same way. Uh, struggling with some of these FCS teams early in the season is embarrassing. but. Uh, at the end of the day, if we could get another team to have nine, ten wins, we'll be in better shape as a conference. It seems to me people forget a couple of years ago it was the SEC maybe that people thought was down a little, a lot. Yeah. And it was because of quarterback play. Now the ACC is down. There's not a lot of premier quarterbacks, a lot of musical chairs. Do you think that that is maybe one big issue? Surprisingly, I think this is going to be one of the better conferences with quarterbacks, though. Uh, you look at Louisville's quarterback, uh, Mikael Cunningham. You look at Trevor. Obviously, he'll be back next year. Uh, James Blackman, I think, is going to make a push. We're going to lose Bryce Perkins, but you know he's, he's moving on. Jaron Williams can pick things up. It's a lot of good quarterback play. Uh, Sam Howe is an all-star. I think he's going to be really, really good in the next couple years. Um, so as far as quarterback play, I think that as a conference, it's all going to get more competitive. It's going to get cleaner. It's not going to be as many bonehead mistakes from the quarterback position. Uh, one of those like head scratcher type sure. ideas. Um, so I think it's going to get better. A lot of these guys are young. You know, they're freshmen, they're sophomores. Uh, Sam is a true freshman. You know, so just considering how well he's played this year, I think says a lot about Coach Mac Brown and that coaching staff. Uh, so I think you know this conference is in good shape as far as quarterbacks. What do you think about tomorrow night's nice matchup between Virginia's quarterback Perkins and Clemson's uh, defense? Yeah, I think, you know, you give Coach Venables, I'm sure he probably started watching tape on UVA two or three weeks ago, uh, trying to key in on how he can stop Bryce. And I don't think you can stop him. I think you just try to contain him. Uh, I think one of the things Virginia Tech didn't do on defense was stop him on the run. Uh, and that's kind of what gets that momentum going for that UVA team. I think when UVA sees Bryce come into the locker room, they all get excited. You know, he's that kind of guy for that team. And uh, but I do know Coach Venables is a great coach. He has the talent. He has the guys on defense that are smart enough, unselfish enough to, you know, play team football, complimentary football, uh, and not try to make the big play and give something else, give something else up in, in exchange. So I think they'll be fine. You getting a little anxious for Florida State to make a hire? Uh, not really. I think you take your time in these situations. You know, I don't. I don't I'm not going to be the one to say, "Hey, who's going to be like rush them." And, you know, because this is one of those decisions that has to work. I mean, you, you fire Coach Taggart, and uh, if you don't get it right, it's going to be a lot of upset fans, a lot of upset people and players. So um, take your time. I hope that they're doing their due diligence and making sure they're making the right choice. You feel like Florida State needs to be good for the ACC to be good? Of course. They need to be good for the country. I mean, at the end of the day, when you turn on the TV, you watch college football, you think of Florida State, you think of Florida, Miami. Uh, obviously now Clemson, I mean, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you didn't really think of Clemson like that, but it's good that they're our leader right now. But, you know, when you think of college football, you think of those types of programs. And uh, I think they'll get back. You know, at the end of the day, we weren't great when I first got there, but Jimbo had the infrastructure, got, got in enough good players, and we were able to turn things around. So, you know, college football is in wage. It's just all about recruiting and who you can bring in as talent.
when you look at tomorrow night's game, what would you do if you had a guy like Isaiah Simmons?